Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 best places to visit in Florida. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The Sunshine State is great vacation area, with over 8,000 miles of shoreline. However, with so many different places to visit in Florida, deciding where to go for your next vacation might be difficult. To determine the finest places to visit in Florida, US News analyzed factors such as the quantity of attractions, lodging availability, and the opinions of everyday travelers. Number 10. Everglades National Park. Alligators are almost as famous in Florida as its beaches and amusement parks, and Everglades National Park is one of the best sites to see them. Alligators, as well as other unique Florida wildlife like manatees and panthers, can be found in the park, which is the country's largest subtropical wilderness. The Everglades also has a number of pathways, and guided excursions to help visitors navigate its 1.5 million acres. Visit between November and April, the park's dry season, to take advantage of cooler temperatures, fewer mosquitoes, and a better chance of seeing wildlife. Number 9. Destin. For thousands of summer travelers, this area along the Florida Panhandle's Emerald Coast serves as a home away from home. Destin is distinguished from other Florida beaches by its picture-perfect white sands formed of Appalachian quartz and its beautiful, brilliant blue-green water. Destin's small-town charm, manicured golf courses, ideal fishing conditions, and boardwalk lined with shops and restaurants continue to draw visitors year after year. Destin, also known as the world's luckiest fishing village, has become one of the most popular vacation destinations on the Florida Panhandle. Destin was a peaceful fishing hamlet, until a bridge joined the thin peninsula with Florida's mainland in the 1850s. This town maintains an intimate friendly feel, with a population of 13,000 residents, which swells to 25,000 plus during the summer. Each year, families from the Midwest and South go to Destin's beaches to enjoy the city's signature bright white beaches, which are constructed of pure Appalachian quartz. This special sand not only keeps you cool in the summer heat, but it also gives the water an emerald color thanks to the sun's reflection. While golfers navigate seaside bunkers, children play around at water parks. More daring guests can go snorkeling or scuba diving off the coast, or rent a boat to go deep sea fishing. Casting a line is, after all, an essential aspect of this peninsula paradise. Number 8. St. Augustine St. Augustine is a must-see for history aficionados. This hamlet in northern Florida, founded by the Spaniards in 1565, is the United States' oldest continuously inhabited European community, earning it the moniker Ancient City. From pedestrian-friendly St. George Street to the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument, St. Augustine's seashore structures and monuments serve as a live history lesson. Number 7. Sanibel Island. This Gulf Coast island is frequently described as low-key and quaint. Sanibel Island has a laid-back beach vibe that appeals to families because to its low-cost vacation accommodations and vast, uncrowded beaches brimming with seashells. When the kids have had their fill of the beach, take them to the J.N. Ding, Darling National Wildlife Refuge to see herons, roseate spoonbills, and ospreys. Number 6. Miami Beach. Miami Beach is one of the most vivid and dynamic places on the planet. This Miami branch attracts everyone from peaceful retirees to night owls, thanks to the Art Deco architecture along Ocean Drive and the scantily dressed beachgoers on South Beach. However, you'll want to bring your credit card with you, because those trendy dance clubs and elegant, trendy restaurants aren't inexpensive. Consider purchasing a Go Miami card ahead of time to gain entry to some of the area's museums and tours for a fraction of the cost. There's also South Beach. This prominent southernmost area demonstrates that Miami Beach is actually two cities in one, a family-friendly holiday destination during the day and a super chic metropolis at night. You'll have to use your credit card at high-end retailers, schmooze at cutting-edge fusion restaurants, dance at frenetic nightclubs, and relax poolside at Art Deco-style hotels, if you want to keep up with the Joneses. The affluent and famous, however, aren't the only ones who will have a good time here. Relax on the dunes of Hallover Park or Loomis Park, learn about architecture, museums or even try their hand at fishing off the South Point Pier for more laid-back vacationers. Is there anything else I should do? The Lincoln Road Mall is ideal for window shopping and wandering. You can't leave Miami Beach without sampling some delectable small meals and sipping cocktails from a rooftop bar. Number 5. Naples. Naples, a beautiful and lovely city, is all about luxury and pleasure. 
This area of Florida's Paradise Coast is noted for its beautiful white sand beaches, fantastic golf courses, high-end stores, and gourmet restaurants, particularly around 5th Avenue South and 3rd Street South. Flora and wildlife enthusiasts can also visit the Naples Zoo, the Naples Botanical Garden, and Clam Pass Park, among other natural attractions. Art lovers might pay a visit to the Baker Museum or one of the city's many art galleries. Number 4. Key West. Visit this island in the Florida Keys to see the continental United States' southernmost point. Key West is recognized for its free-spirited residents, colorful conch-style residences, and snorkeling and scuba diving friendly coral reefs. Between boat tours and margaritas, bibliophiles will love learning more about Ernest, Hemingway and seeing descendants of his six-toed cat, Snow White, at the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum. Key West has threatened to go rogue in the past, in 1982, with a faux secessionist campaign to form the Conch Republic, so it's a good idea to toss a rigid itinerary out the window here. Take a walk, drink a margarita, look for a six-toed cat, and go at your own leisure. While Hurricane Irma wreaked havoc on the area in late 2017, Key West is now open for business. Number 3. Street. Petersburg, FL. St. Petersburg, which holds the Guinness World Record for the most consecutive days of sunlight attracts visitors from all walks of life. St. Pete Beach and the seven miles of coastal parks will appeal to outdoor enthusiasts. Away from the beach, downtown St. Petersburg has a lot to offer, including a museum dedicated to Salvador Dal's works, and the Sunken Gardens, the city's oldest living museum. The white, sandy beaches provide breathtaking sunset views, and the seven miles of waterfront parks invite visitors to participate in a variety of activities, such as hiking, camping, and kayaking. A thriving creative renaissance also provides a diverse cultural experience, whether at the world-renowned Dal Museum or the Museum of Fine Arts. Every year, the city hosts over 1,000 events, ranging from the St. Anthony's Triathlon to Ribfest, a festival featuring barbecued ribs and touring musicians. These events are frequently staged in downtown areas, which are densely packed with stores, restaurants, and craft brew pubs that come alive when the sun sets. With so much to offer, the sunny city is a popular destination for guests of all ages. Families will enjoy the calm outdoors and abounding animals, while the younger set will enjoy the busy nightlife downtown. Number 2. Orlando Walt Disney World. While the ensemble of Disney characters pulls visitors to Orlando year after year, there are a plethora of attractions and activities available outside of the theme parks. Families can go shopping at outlet malls and interact with animals up close, and personal at Gatorland or Discovery Cove. Those who aren't traveling with children can take advantage of Orlando's rejuvenated nightlife and restaurant scenes in the downtown area. The idea that only young people will enjoy the city's attractions is simply that, an idea. Orlando, in actuality, offers a little bit of everything to appeal to people of all ages, and there's more to do here than visit theme parks. The subtropical climate is ideal for golfing, and the cityscape is far too appealing to pass up. Number 1. Sarasota. Think again if you think this tiny city on Florida's west coast is like any other in the state. Sarasota attracts art lovers and collectors with a long number of art-related attractions and events such as the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art, the Art Center Sarasota, and many craft exhibits and festivals. However, art in this country is not limited to classic works like his paintings and sculptures. Ballet, opera, and circus acts are all popular forms of entertainment in this seaside city. In reality, the circus has a stronghold in Sarasota. Two of the Ringling Brothers. Circus founders John and Charles Ringling moved to Sarasota just before it became a city in 1913. In addition, John Ringling's former mansion, Car Dizan, is now one of the city's most popular attractions. Sarasota is a popular destination for nature enthusiasts due to its location on Sarasota Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. When you're not appreciating the scenery from one of the area's beautiful golf courses, visit the Marie Selby Botanical Gardens, Lido Beach, or Mayaca River State Park to see the native flora and fauna. Sarasota also has one of the largest Amish and Mennonite communities in the state. What do you think about this video? Which of the following top 10 best places to visit in Florida you find most interesting do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.